Hey YouTubers, how you doing? I'm here working on my Aiden that I bought. <clears throat> little backstory, I bought this tractor. Um, gonna be a quick little rewire job. Older guy, had a heart attack. Um, he, he worked on it a little bit, but he could barely move, so he was getting rid of it. Said he put a bunch of money in the wiring and stuff like that. So I thought, hey, grab it, rewire it. Um, Cause he, he, it really wasn't done right. Put a new alternator on it, um, new wiring harness. Uh, front distributor put 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 points in it, um, new cap, plug wires. Um, went to start it and uh, crank 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 crank. Not nothing. Had good spark and everything. Put my thumb over the 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 uh, um, spark plug holes. Felt like it compression. Um, so messed with it some more. Finally put a compression tester on it. Had it from 30 to 60 pounds compression. So it wasn't enough. Pulled the head. Looks like um, looks like somebody rebuilt it at one time. Had uh, um, you know pulled pistons. Let me show you one of the pistons here. Rings are seized up. I don't think you can see that very well. So rings are seized up. But number one, I think they tried to pull start it with the engine seized. Um, the number one cylinder blew out the bottom of the liner. So I ended up messing around with liners. That's what we're talking about here. Um, we pulled the liner, but I bought I bought this puller on eBay. Okay, it fits into um, into the liner pretty well. Okay, um, just like that. So, but what I didn't notice, I was pulled pulled on it. We built a uh, build a puller for it. Spend a bunch of time trying to pull it. One come, one come, one come. So we built this here. Then that piece goes there. And the whole unit sits there. Um, so come to find out, I don't know if this is built for. There's two different size liners. Some of this is built for the other size liner, but this will not slide through there. We've already got the liners pulled. So you're pulling from the bottom, one go. So here's what I end up doing. Here's the easiest way to do it, guys. Um, you're gonna think I'm a little crazy, but you can see that. What I ended up doing on all four of them, took a, took a, uh, tried to cool them and put ice in there and all that jazz. These things are so thin and so brittle. I took a screwdriver and a, and a hammer and just chiseled off that top a little bit broke right off and then you can get right along right along that edge just peel it down like a like a soup can peeled right off just be careful let me show you this here just be careful not to so it's still solid in there if you can see that let me get it down here um here, hold on. I don't think you can see that very well at all. But, so, just be really careful, guys. Don't, don't score the edge of the block. Just be really careful and go slow with it. So once you get down to the bottom, um, that, that whole thing broke loose, pulled right out. It took me like five minutes per liner, where I messed with trying that stupid puller for hours and hours and hours. Just be really careful with it, and, and it'll come right out. I've got new liners coming. We're going to hit this thing hard next weekend. Um, uh, pistons, rings, the whole works. So we'll video a little bit of that. Uh, i got another big project I'm doing, so I need this out of my way. Um, but we'll get back to you here next weekend. You guys have a good week.